Hi guys, this is Small Couponer. These are the Dollar General 5 of 25 scenarios for this Saturday, November 19, 2022, and these are all digital deals. So let's get started. For advanced couponers, timestamp in pin comment. How to use the DG app? Make sure to check out the video link in the description box below. So I made an updated video for this because DG did update the app. So the format is a bit different. So I updated this video. So if you need some help, make sure to check this video out. Make sure that you scan everything in your cart into the DG app just to make sure that the digitals are still attaching to the products that you are purchasing before you check out at the register. And you can also price check in the app. And make sure that you scan the UPC barcode of the product into the app. Don't just search for it on the app. The app list is not always correct. It will work out differently in store. Digitals are one time use per account. Store pricing may vary from store to store. Digitals cannot be removed or unclipped after you clip them. And this is the difference between a store coupon and a manufacturer coupon. At Dollar General, you can combine a store coupon with a manufacturer coupon, but you cannot combine two manufacturer coupons, whether it be in a form of a digital, an insert paper, or a printable coupon for one product. Please share, like, comment, and subscribe. It will really help me out and it's free to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. So make sure that you choose all so that you receive all of the notifications from my channel. So this video was made on November 16th. It is before Saturday, so make sure that you scan the product barcodes into the app just to make sure that all of these digitals are attaching and to press check the items. So let's get started with all of the scenarios. Scenario 1. So you'll buy one Bengay for $5.75, one Imodium for $6.75, one Motrin for $5, and one Children's Motrin for $7.50. So your total will be $25. You will use the 5 25 for this Saturday, which is November 19th. So even though it says expires on November 20th, if you expand the coupon and read the details, it will say November 19th. $2 off Bengay, $2 off Pepsid or Imodium, and etc. $2 off Motrin and $1.50 off Children's or Infants Tylenol or Motrin. So your total coupons is $12.50. So since these are all digital deals, make sure that you put in your phone number while the cashier is scanning your merchandise. If they hit total too fast and if they don't know how to go back, tell them to hit F1 and then F2. It should go back to the screen where you can put in your phone number again. You'll pay $12.50 plus tax. And then you'll submit your receipt to this particular website. I do have this link in the description box below. So your mileage may vary, but based on my experience, they count the $25 or $15 threshold before coupons and taxes. And then you get a $10 or a $5 reward. So um, this reward, there's like many different options that you can choose from. But for me, I always get a virtual Visa card. And the time frame for your purchases should be between um, October 23rd through December 3rd. And they only accept one receipt, so make sure that you um, purchase all of your items, the $25 worth or $15 worth, all on one receipt. It is a limit of two per household per address, meaning that you can do this particular you know, reward twice. So again, I have this link in the description box below. So you will get the $10 reward when you spend $25, and I want to know, make sure that you read the terms and conditions before purchasing all of these items because you, know, you want to make sure that you are going to get the reward. And the final cost will be $250. Here is the written breakdown, so I'll give you a couple of seconds to take a screenshot of this first part. Here is the second part. Scenario 2. So you'll buy three of the American greeting cards. These are 50 cents each. Three of them will be 150. Two of the Vaseline lotion for $4 each. Two of them will be $8. One of the Advil. These are 450. These are 20 count. 
one of the emergency for a dollar. So this is a glitch deal. One dollar off Vicks Vapo Drops for a dollar. Three of the Oral B Bright and Clean for three dollars. They are one dollar each. One of the Degree Men Deodorant for one fifty. And two Airwick Warmers. These are two twenty five. So two of them will be four fifty. So your total will be twenty five dollars. You will use the 525 for this Saturday, November 19th on um, $1.50 off three American greeting items store coupons. So it is actually taking off $147 because at Dollar General, if it's a store coupon, it will not be completely free. You always have to pay a penny for the free item if it's a store coupon. The only time that it's it will be free and you just have to pay any sales tax is if it's a manufacturer coupon. Two off six Vaseline St. Ives Simple and etc. store coupon. Three dollar and fifty cents off two Vaseline. Three dollars off Advil. So this is a glitch deal. One dollar off Emergency. This is also a glitch deal. One dollar off Vicks Vapor Cough Relief. One dollar off Oral B. This is also a glitch deal. Three off two Crestor Oral B. One dollar off Dove or Degree store coupon. And three off two Airwick. So your total coupons is twenty four ninety seven you'll pay three cents plus tax. Here is the written breakdown, so I'll give you a couple of seconds to take a screenshot of this first part. Here is the second part. Scenario three. So you'll buy two of the preparation H. These are six thirty-five each. Two of them will be twelve seventy. Two of the Vaseline lotion for eight dollars. Three of the American greeting cards for one fifty. Two of the Lysol toilet bowl cleaner, or you could get the multi surface multi surface cleaner. These are a dollar each, so two of them will be two dollars, and one cascade for a dollar. So your total will be twenty five twenty. You will use the 525 for this Saturday, November 19th, 4 off 2 preparation H, $2 off 6 Vaseline and etc. store coupon, $3.50 off 2 Vaseline, $1.50 off 3 American greeting items store coupon, so it's actually taking off 147 1 off 2 Lysol and 50 cents off Cascade. So the Lysol and the Cascade are glitch deals. So your total coupons is $17.47. You'll pay $7.73 plus tax. And then you'll submit your receipt to Ibotta to get um, a total of $4 back for the preparation H because it's a $2 Ibotta rebate, but it is a limit of five. So since you purchased two items, you'll get $4 back for two. And my referral code is VPCFRDP. It is also in the description box below if you're interested. If you are new to Ibotta, you will get a $10 bonus after your first redemption. So for example, if you are new to Ibotta and if you were to do this particular scenario, you will get a total of $14 back, $10 from the bonus for being new, and $4 from this particular scenario for the preparation age. And your final cost will be $373. Here is the written breakdown, so I'll give you a couple of seconds to take a screenshot of this first part. Here is the second part. Scenario 4. So if, if you want to do an all hair color scenario, this is what you would do. You'll buy two of the Clairol, nice and easy, if you can find this particular color. These are $6.30 each, two of them will be $12.60, and one got to be metallics for $12.50. So your total will be $25.10. You will use the 525 for this Saturday, November 19th, 6 off 2 Clairol, and $4 off Source Cough. So your total coupons is $15.00 you'll pay 1010 plus tax. And then you'll submit your receipt to Ibotta to get $3 back for the got to be metallics. And your final cost is 710. Here is the written breakdown, so I'll give you a couple of seconds to take a screenshot of this. Scenario 5. 
So you'll buy one Dove body wash. If you can find this particular one, these are on clearance for $6.70. One of the Nivea body lotion for $5. One of the Tresemme mask for $2. Two of the Dawn power wash for $10. They are $5 each. Two of the Lysol for $2. So your total will be $25.70. You will use the 5 25 for this Saturday, November 19th, $3 off Dove, $2 off Nevia, $1 off Tresemme store coupon, $4.99 off. So basically you have to buy one Cascade and one Dawn, but it is glitching and you could get two of the Dawn, if that makes sense, and one off two Lysol. So your total coupons is $16.99. You'll pay $8.71 plus tax. Here is the written breakdown, so I'll give you a couple of seconds to take a screenshot of this first part. Here is the second part. Scenario 6. So this is like an all household scenario. You'll buy one of the Arm & Hammer for $4.25, one Clorox disinfecting spray for $4, one of the Clorox bleach for $3.75, two of the Dawn power wash for $10, two Lysol for $2, and one Cascade for $1. So your total will be $25. You will use the 5 25 for this Saturday, November 19th, $1.50 off Arm & Hammer, $1 off Clorox spray, um, $1 off Clorox laundry product, $4.99 off Cascade and Dawn, but it is glitching. One off two Lysol and $0.50 cents off Cascade. So your total coupons is $14.99. You'll pay $10.01 plus tax. And then your mileage may vary on this particular rebate. So there is 200 SB points from Swabucks when you buy two Clorox dis disinfecting products, which is equivalent to $2. So if it automatically detects, um, they will probably credit you. But if you have to do a manual review, they will probably deny it because you use coupons. So your mileage may vary. If you are new to Swabucks, I do have a referral link link in the description box below. So you can use that referral link, sign up using a desktop, then download the app, and then log in, go to Shop Magic Receipts, and that's where you will upload your receipt. It should automatically detect and credit you, but if for some reason um, they, they don't detect it, you have to submit for a manual review. But in the fine print, it does say excludes coupons, so um, that's why your mileage may vary. You want to make sure that it automatically detects, so um, maybe you could scan it in like a couple of times to see if it you know, automatically detects. And then if you get the Swabex rebates back, it, your final cost will be 801 I also want to note on Swabex, there are a ton of rewards, so these SB points, you can trade it in for like gift cards. They're like... There are like um, Visa gift cards, Master gift cards. These are like the virtual versions of it. There's also Amazon gift cards, a bunch of retailers, and you can also get PayPal money if you don't want gift cards. Here is the written breakdown, so I'll give you a couple of seconds to take a screenshot of this first part. Here is the second part. Scenario 7. So if you still have that uh, Downy Unstoppable store coupon, this is what you can do and these are with all of the new digitals. One of the Febreze Unstoppables for $4, one of the Downy Unstoppables, these are the 5.5 ounces for $5.35, one of the Downy Unstoppables, I think these are the 8.6 ounces for $6.95, and one of the Downy Unstoppables, these are the larger size for $10.95. So your total will be $27.25. You will use the 5 25 for this Saturday, November 19th, two off three Downy Unstoppables store coupon. So this coupon is sort of weird because you have to get four in order for it to come off. If you only get three, it will not come off. So it's, I think it's actually a two off four. One dollar off for Breeze, one dollar off Downy, two dollars off Downy, and two dollars off Downy. So your total coupons is thirteen dollars. 
you'll pay $14.25 plus tax. Here is the written breakdown, so I'll give you a couple of seconds to take a screenshot of this first part. Here is the second part. So there are more deals in my Dollar General Cheap Deals video and if if your stores are updated and the gain coupons and the 5 25 if they are not combining, you can do the any day gain scenarios. So make sure to check this video out, which is for this week, November 13th through November 19th. I will link this video above on the end screen and pin in a comment for your reference. So if you need substitutions for any of these items, um, you know, I don't know what's in stock at everyone's store or what you really want. So um, preferably you want to substitute with something with a similar price point. If it's multiple items, make sure that is a similar total before coupons. And these are all of the new deals with the new digitals that I post every week. And I do provide UPC barcode numbers for items that you cannot search for on the app. In game scenarios, these are already, this video is already posted for this Saturday, which is November 19th. I will link this video above on the end screen and pin in a comment for your reference if you want to do the game scenarios. And if you want to create your own 525, if you are not doing anything complicated like um, no instant savings, store promotions, or sales, you only need $25 before coupons. But if you are doing something complicated like instant savings, store promotions, or sales, make sure that it's $25 after all of that but before coupons. And that is it for me. Thanks for watching. Bye.